I'm student meteorologist Daryl Mingle with an update on Tropical Storm Ian, soon to be Hurricane Ian again. Ian made landfall yesterday in southwest Florida as a Category 4 storm and overnight crossed the Florida Peninsula and is now making its way back into the Atlantic, which spells trouble for us here in the Carolinas. So as you can see on satellite right now, this is Ian kind of over the Cape Canaveral region of Florida, making its way back into the Atlantic. Overall pretty disorganized right now, but we expect uh, it to get more organized over the next 24 hours before likely making landfall in South Carolina, somewhere around the Charleston region. Uh, likely anywhere from Charleston to the Myrtle Beach area and the Grand Strand. Uh, one of the most important things with this map you can see is just how large that wind field is with Ian. It currently stretches all the way really from Tampa up towards Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So that's why we've had those tropical storm warnings issued well inland into the Carolinas this afternoon uh, as to prepare for Ian's large wind field. Although it will contract, it'll still be plenty large enough to impact plenty of areas further inland into South Carolina. Uh, so as you can see with those new watches and warnings issued today, a hurricane warning has been issued uh, through the entire South Carolina coastline. Even though we do expect landfall uh, around the Charleston area, there will still be a pretty good wind field there and you could possibly see those conditions as far south as Beaufort and as far north as Myrtle Beach. Uh, we also have new tropical storm warnings issued further inland towards the Columbia area, all the way to Augusta and then up I-77 to Charlotte and further back towards the Raleigh area as uh, again Ian will move likely inland around this general path and that east side of the storm will have plenty of strong winds. Uh, so these are our kind of plots of the models things Ian will take. Uh, again currently near Cape Canaveral and is likely to curve up slowly in about 24 hours impacting the Charleston South Carolina region and eventually moving inland up towards Charlotte. So this is our uh, model for um, Kind of radar presentation that we expect uh, as Ian moves through. Again, landfall in the Charleston area and then likely to move up I-26 and then up towards the Charlotte metro region. So again, expect plenty of strong winds and heavy rain uh, near the center and on both sides of the center, but especially the east side towards the Raleigh metro. And that's why we've had those tropical storm uh, warnings issued so far east and uh, not so far west into the upstate of South Carolina. Uh, so these are wind gust forecasts. These are not sustained winds, so don't expect to see this for prolonged periods of time, but wind could definitely be gusting into the really the 50 to 60 mile an hour range through the Midlands of South Carolina and then the 40 to 50 mile an hour range uh, throughout the Charlotte area and back towards Raleigh before eventually dissipating into a tropical depression as it crosses into the Appalachians. This is our rainfall forecast. Uh, again, expect a lot of rain with Ian. Somewhere from four to six inches is a pretty safe bet um, from, I'd say, probably Spartanburg County, South Carolina, uh, further back towards the Raleigh area. Uh, it's gonna be bringing in plenty of Atlantic moisture with it as it makes landfall. So uh, we're gonna end with this. Again, this is just the forecast track for Ian. Again, likely to make landfall on the South Carolina coastline uh, sometime tomorrow on Friday. Uh, and then that will eventually continue up further into the Carolinas, bringing heavy rain, heavy wind, and isolated tornado potential, especially back east towards the Outer Banks. I'm student meteorologist Gerald Mingle, and this was the forecast update for Tropical Storm Ian.